Yay! Finally wants to work. Woohoo! Anyway, hello. Oh, well, hello. Hello, guys. <laughs> it is the one and only Angel Deville. Pick up close. Or for ones that don't speak French, which I'm surprised I remember that phrase. It is, of course, but whatever. Yay! I have to wear a glove because I don't want to get paint on my hands because that sucked last time. Anyway, um, I am or have been working on a, she can't see my hands, I have been working on a whole lot of projects lately, and I have been going a wee bit nutty buddies. But I am actually going to be repainting these for another coat since it's been about almost three months, give or take, since I've last touched this beautiful headache in my case. And I'm going with my favorite guys. Ha ha ha. I actually got these at a Dollar Tree. So these, these paints are very, very worth it. But you can get any kind of, well, you can get paint pretty much everywhere. Every place has an art supply. I just realized it is pointing right at my lap. I just realized how far the camera is, but I'm okay with that. Um, since I'm... My tongue just stopped working once again. I like my little brush. It is my favorite little brush. It is always... I don't know, this brush seems very indestructible. But anyway, back to the main goal of my brain cells, outside of just repainting all of this so I can have a better coat so I can start gluing it together to go in the froggy. Um, oh my god, that is so much darker than I remember. It is okay, because this will work. I don't know why I'm even doing it like this. I should be having it on the piece itself. But any doodles, I have decided to rework on this just to, you know, touch a few things up. If I seem very hyper, more so than normal, I had a lot of coffee today. And I'm actually still working on my first glass, which is actually behind me. And it is barely under the halfway mark. And it's like one of those really big, big cups like it's like a viking cup and i love it <laughs> it may or may not make its debut in a few videos later on today because that's probably this is actually going to be my entire day is touching up on art projects and little odds and ends and catch up on a few things instead of going absolutely mad like a hatter um yeah, I just really want to touch up on these before it got, I don't know, before it got to the point of no return of, you know what, I don't want to do this no more. But I will, because this is actually a project I am very happy on. On top of, I would like to welcome a few new subscribers. I'm actually surprised people are still watching these videos. Ah, no! Okay, I take back what I said. I take back everything I said. Um, yeah. I'm just, I don't know why. I just, I feel better. Like, I finally, I'm shedding like a dog. I am just glad to be out of the little bit of a funk that I've been in. But because of my roommate pushing me in a good way, in a good way, he's been pushing me to get back on the horse and eat that horse. I am eating the artistic horse. And trust me, it does not taste good because I actually did get paint in my mouth like an hour before I started this. <laughs> One of my paint containers blew up. I'm like, no! So I had to uh, redo everything. Like, rebrush my teeth and crap like that because, God, that... Mm, it exploded everywhere. Um, I didn't think about this because I didn't do the inside of it either. Which probably should have done the inside first. I didn't think about that. <laughs> It is okay. I am a professional. Professional goofball. Like my roommate loves to call me. Yes, I am his professional goofball. <laughs> um, but yes, I am very, very happy to have this thing of mine. But I am going to try to be working on as many, ew, as many art projects as I can. This isn't going to take too long, honestly. Last time I did this, it probably took about maybe an hour for everything to dry. 
give or take, give or take. I, I'm i occasionally very impatient when it comes to painting, so I, I like to get things done as fast as possible instead of like, hmm, five days later, oh my god, the paint is dry. Like, I kind of, I like having things like dry fairly fast. It's the same exact way with my nail polish. I prefer to have that stuff dry as fast as possible, even though I don't wear nail polish. <laughs> Uh, and I am going to touch up the flower, the beautiful, beautiful flower of mine, because I went with a darker green instead of the light green, but personally, I don't know what happened to my lighter green, so, yeah, I don't know where half of my equipment went for this project, but I am improvising, because that is why I do best, apparently, is I improvise the crap out of my life, and I am okay with this. But, uh, yes, I do, I have quite a bit of new projects coming up, or, <laughs> coming up, a lot of new projects I'm working on, I've, uh, I just have a lot of projects I'm okay with, that, I won't, wanna... my brain stopped functioning, um, yeah, I'm gonna move it over a little bit more. I'm also trying to get the room light perfect so I can see what I'm doing instead of like, oh, look at the camera at all times and you'll see what you're doing. And then, oh my God, you're bleeding through purple. Oh my goodness, not what I wanted to do. But um, <laughs> I do have a few interesting art projects. I actually, funny enough, I want to do a apocalypse pony thing. With the four horses that I have, or the four unicorn pony thingies. That, unfortunately, is buried at the bottom of the box, so I can't really show you guys. But, no, I almost lost grip. Okay. I'm trying to be fragile with this, because this thing was a pain to do. But I do have the apocalypse pony thing I want to do, which is actually a reference to one of my favorite shows growing up, which was my... Dear Gord, I almost said My Favorite Martian. Not what I meant. It was from Robot Chicken for Apocalypse Ponies, which was a joke on My Little Ponies, which I thought was hilarious. And also, I kind of just wanted to do something that not a lot of people would expect. So using the f Four Horsemen would... Um, Hold on, my brain is just not functioning right now. I got all excited. Uh, the Four Horsemen, which was the four... You know, I know my roommate watches these videos, so I know you're going to be busting my my everythings. Ow, my ovaries. Because I know you. <laughs> but, um... You know, I'm going to have to dig a picture up of that. But no, I, um... It's the Four Horsemen of Death. I know I'm, I know that's not the right word I'm looking for. I know I know that's not the word I'm looking for, but it's basically what they are. They You know what? I think that might be my goal today is start that start the horse project. So you guys see what I'm trying to say, but I want to do research on it first, which I should have been doing that the entire time, but I wasn't because I got lazy. And it is okay because I like Okay, my roommate gets very irritated to an extent. I know it's coming from a loving point of view, but I'm always on the go and I was like always doing things like I have yet to actually like stop to relax and do the little things I would like to do instead of just, you know, housework and stuff like that. I'm just going to put you back over here because I don't want you getting all scoobled up. But, um, yeah, I haven't really been taking, like, downtime for, like, hey, let's do art. It's like, hey, I want to do art, and then set it aside for weeks at a time, like, oh, well, I don't want to do it now because now I don't have the gung-ho and the spunk or the whatever you want to call it to go do it. But I do have a lot of ideas, which has actually been driving me nuts to the point... Like, I don't know what to do first. I don't know where to start or when to stop. Which, ew! I got a paint boogie. <laughs> I 
how to Ew, I'm so glad I have a trash can next to me. Ew, get off my finger. Which actually I don't even need the glove now. For now, I do not need the glove. Just gonna scoot the napkin back. I know I'm veering off on like so many things because it just dawned on me. I'm like, wait, I was talking about the apocalypse ponies and I just completely stopped because I can't think on how to word them. But it's like the four horses of death. The one is the one is decay, one is, I don't even have my paper anywhere actually with all their names on there, but one is like decay, one is, um, um, come on angel, you got a brain, now you can think about it, plague, one had, one was for plague, one was, I, like each one was something different, but it's, it's a Bible reference. A biblical reference. There we go. Biblical reference. And for me, I don't partic- Oh, I already had it in my hand. Glitter glue for the frog eyes that I had to redo. But I don't really know. I know enough about the Bible to get me through this art project, but I don't know enough about it to go, yeah. So I'm kind of taking like biblical, bi biblical references for the art project. So it can be more accurate when I go to like do the paint jobs and the, um, sculpting, I guess. I, I don't know. I want to add things to it. So it's like more accurate, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to like think of the words and like always when I do videos, I come very unprepared because I'm a scatterbrain and I just like to dive into things without any preparation, which is another thing my roommate busts my pretty little buns about. <laughs> but again, I know it's coming from love or from a loving view, so I'm okay with that. Froggy. He's a froggy. I am so happy about the froggy. I just have like one problem with this eye. He has a hole in it and I don't know why. So he has been the challenge. I did super glue his jaw in place. So when I put the flower in his mouth and put the vine through his... Where his organs would be at? <laughs> I will say this art project wasn't supposed to be this gory, but it kind of just fell into that. And at the time when I started this art project, I was not doing so good. I have a number of people that could vouch for that. I was not really in the most grievous of places. I'm just trying to cover this little eye hole. Because <laughs> this is what happened the last time. <laughs> Me trying to shake something and then it all spewing all over the place. So I put the cap back on because I learned my lesson finally. <laughs> Watch out, I'm learning. But, uh, yeah. I was not doing oh so great with. Uh, mentally, I was not in a great spot to even start this project. Which I think is why I've been taking such a time with this thing instead of rushing through it like I've done with every other project. And then going, you know, you know what? I don't want to do this project no more. I'm going to start another 52 projects. And I'm going to leave them all on hold until I'm bored enough to start something. Well, I'm not really bored. I just... I need to go back to my art therapy. And that's kind of what I'm doing. Except this Fergie is being mean. Because I cannot tell how much green is in his eyeball. Because I wanted to cheat with this project. I really did. I wanted to get those uh, googly eyes. Or not the googly eyes. But like those semi-realistic eyes you find during, of course, Halloween season. Which is where I found these. Halloween season. Did not sound correct when I first said it. Because I was going to use those for this project. I'm like, no. No. I want it to be special. So I decided to do it like this. And actually have him propped up between a soda glass and a 
Hold on. That is what I have him propped up against. And that is when I was trying to make my own clay, which it worked. It definitely worked. I just messed up on a few things. So that would be another art project I would like to start at some point in time. I don't know when. I don't know how. I know how. I just don't know when. But I will eventually remake my own clay and try it again. My own Play-Doh and try again. Wow. I'm going to flip it over. Am I still recording? Oh, thank Lord. Honestly, I think the hardest part about this frog project is going to get the flower in his mouth properly and get the uh, stem in him. Because I don't know if I got a video of that. I haven't really gone back and watched any of my videos, which I probably should so I can like keep track of all my ew. Keep track of all my projects. But when I was trying to remove this from him after it dried, it broke and I was I'm not gonna lie, I, I was actually very upset. <laughs> like I, I think I personally I think I was more upset about this thing breaking than anything else that was going on at the time. Like, no. My roommate was so confused and then he saw he's like oh my god i'm so sorry i'm like my work this this alone took me three hours just for it to go oh. see it was dry okay so that oh no i hit the glass of water oh no oh no 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 but, uh, yeah, no, nah, I, I was, I was, I was not a happy camper. And then we decided to make a, like, we decided to do a video for our gaming channel between me and my roommate. I, it, it did not help. It did not make me feel any better. Yes, I got to kill a lot of candy creations, but I was not happy whatsoever, even in the process of that. I was still very upset. Even my roommate could tell. He's, he's like, this this is not making you better. I'm like, no, it's not. It's making me even more upset. <laughs> like, all these candy people did nothing to us. And here we are just pointing our fingers going, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Which is actually kind of what I was doing the entire time in my head. <laughs> just pew, pew. Come on, Cuphead. Pew, pew. Or, in that case, Mugman, because he is Mugman in the game and I am Cuphead. Which is so beautiful. But, no. When video games do not make me feel better, that's how you know there, there was no way I was going to be fixed. And, sadly enough, the next day I was a little bit worse. Cause like, oh, all that work I did. I put in so much hard work. Like, son of a blitzkrieg, why did you do this to me? Gotta get the sides, gotta get that back, gotta get that spine. Spine, spine, spine. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I do, I do have a very interesting project that I want to start. Since now I have a, a megaton of Play-Doh up in the, in that corner over there, which is my bureau. But now I have the clay power. I can start my retro idea for doing um, Hubert. Which was a very fun game back in the day. It was a arcade game, I believe. I do believe that was an arcade game. If anybody knows what Hubert is, please let me know. Because I will always say that thing is a... a uh... Crumbsicles, I just said it too. Arcade game. Like the old style arcade games. Like, I don't really want to put too much pressure on this because I feel like it's going to break. And if this breaks, I will cry on camera. I really will. But, uh, yes. I do, I do believe Qbert was a arcade game. If I am wrong, feel free to correct me. I do love being corrected to an extent, unless it's from my roommate. Then, dear God, man, you do not need to correct me that much, sir. Sir, 
Sir, I do not need to be corrected that much, sir. <laughs> this, this stupid things me and my roommate will get into. <laughs> like if I feel if I feel like I am absolutely correct, I will like play argue with him for a good half an hour and go, you know, you're right, I was wrong. Son of a <laughs> Just to have him even get a little irritated, like but I knew I was right. Like, like he knew he was right all along, but I just, I had to just, I had to mess with him so bad. <laughs> and that's how we share. That's how we know we like each other. Cause if we don't mess with each other like that or throw like somewhat decent insults towards each other, we know something is wrong with us. Like we, we know we're like, we're not mentally ready for that day. If we don't bust each other's balls at least once or twice a day. In our case, it's 24-7 because we have nothing else better to do in our lives. I don't know what that says. The camera's upside down. Um, 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 um. I can actually touch that up a little bit. Back to the flower butt. Which, actually, I'm probably going to cut this video fairly soon and set up for the other art project. But I do not know because I have a lot of scrapping to do for art projects that seemed like a groovy idea but then turned out to be a complete disaster. But I know it was not a complete disaster, it was just an irritating disaster. Because I knew that I know that frog eye is gonna take a hot minute to dry. I know that one for bubblegum facts. Bitch. Actually, I should take a blow dryer to that thing and just dry his eyes, but even my like I'd make it worse or something. Um I don't know how to hold this thing now. I'm trying not to smudge the paint. I know I'm very scatterbrained today. I think it's just the a large amount of sleep that I finally got that now I'm just super duper hyper. I'm not even hyper. I'm just trying to calm my little brain down right now. Okay. Can I move this? Can I touch it? I can kind of touch it. I don't know. I'm just going to peek it from the side. Dip, dip, dip. <laughs> I want to make sure all of this is covered in green. Because after this, I'm going to have to dig for the glitter I totally space caked on my own little fragile brain because my brain doesn't want to work for me and it's okay because it's not my buddy. I'm I made a glitter paint. There we go. I got it. I met her, I, son of a flippin' flim flam of donkeys. I made a glitter paint for the stem piece so it could have more of a whimsical feel. Thank you, dear. Ah, oh, for the love of fat snacks. <laughs> for the love of father fat snacks. What am I doing here? <laughs> No more coffee before videos. No more coffee before videos. I didn't realize how much touch-up work this was going to need, actually. I didn't think this through. Oh, no. Oh, no! I didn't think this through! <laughs> <clears throat> but this is what I have so far. I'm going to try to get the other side. No! My tin fell over underneath the table. Oh, no. My tin. I didn't want you to fall. Son of a gourd. Yep, 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 yep. Eh. Okay, this is either gonna hurt me or make it. <laughs> get off my hand! I can't get the glove off. There you go. <laughs> I was really fighting with the glove. But, yeet. I'm actually kinda happy with this. But I have a glitter paint that I made. 
is actually this little guy down here. Found it! A light glitter paint, as you can see the shimmer. Which basically was like three green paints that I had. If I can get it out of here. <laughs> Can't get it open. No! Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, there we go. Had to push down on that. Yeah. It separated just a little bit, but thankfully I have a lot of stirrers behind me. That is going to be very easy. But this was like three different paints that I put in here. Hmm, not bad. <laughs> this is like three different paints. It was the dark green that I just had on camera. There was the light forest green. Actually, hold on. Whoop, that's blue. So it was the dark green, light green, uh, the glitter glue, or the glitter green that isn't the one that's there. It's actually this one that I used, which I'm almost out of, sadly. And I will say this right now. I don't know how this is going to be rating. There you go. But Crafty Square, Crafter Square is such a great company. Oh my god. I fell in love with them without even realizing it. And then later on when I went to go buy more art supplies from, I think it was Amazon. Is that their Amazon or is another um, dollar store that I just happened to have stumbled upon once more? And I realized they also had the same brand and I was just mind blown about how great their products are. Like... If I'm ever in a jam and I need something simple, like if I need like bulk supplies of this, I go straight to them every time with no hesitation. And I always leave them great reviews. Some of, actually some of my canvases that I just got recently, or not recently, but like a few months back, maybe like the end of last year, I think. I'm going to have to ask my roommate because he would know that or that answer so much better than I do right now. But also came from the same company. I'm just like, oh my god. You guys are like an artist's best friend. Because I think one of my um, paintbrushes, actually, one of my paintbrush sets came from them as well. I'm like, oh, I love you guys so much. So much. Actually, oh, actually, 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 hello, brain. <laughs> but, um... A lot of, like, my little skeleton figurines also came from the same company, so. And, I, and the thing is, it takes a lot for me to fall in love with any kind of art company. So for me to fall in love as hard as I did with Craft Square, Crafter Square, was, uh, uh, it, it is, it's just, ah, uh, this side is the art, this is the artist, just, ah. Uh, Thank you. Like, their paints dry fairly fast. They take a while to, like, scrub out of things, which... A little bit of a pain in the butt. A very large pain in my butt. But it is worth it. I He now has a bulging eyeball. That now I'm just going to mush just a little bit. Just a teeny tiny bit. Like, it's not even really coming off. It's it's not really, like, popping off like I wanted to. I'm just moving the liquid. Ah! Moving the liquid around. <laughs> oh, my cat is going to be so upset now. Mommy, you have paint on your hand. No, what have you done? Little butthole. I don't know. Okay. Now I can make the other. The these pants have glitter already on it, so it's not going to make much of a difference, so... Which is something I got asked not too long ago. Why don't you have certain clothes, or why don't you wear your most trashiest of clothes when you're doing art? Because technically, I don't have any trashy clothes. All of my clothes are art clothes to me. Plus, I don't really see the point in having separate clothes for art. <laughs> my everyday wear is my art wear. <laughs> and I like it. He shot way further than I wanted it to. Shut up. <laughs> Get up. 
bulgy eyes. Blah. I, honestly, I kind of lost count on how many layers I've put on his eyes. So safely, or for me to safely say, I'm probably going to say 15 by now. Like 15 layers just to get him slightly bulgy. Because like when you look down now, you can like actually see that his eyes are popping out. And I want to keep it like that. But I have to have him at like a very weird angle now. And I'm still actually kind of get that. But when his eyes dry, I can start painting the frog, finally. But I get to go back to this. I'm putting that in the wrong bag. No, I'm not. I'm just using a chop ah, 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 stick. It's not even a chopstick, it's a wooden skewer. Excuse me. Because I don't trust this at all. Oh, good grief, man. This lid is a pain to open up. Ah! It's like sand. Oh no. No, oh, I'm good. There's like a lot of different greens in here, so hopefully this turns out to my advantage. This is the one that's actually going to take, if I say actually one more time, I swear I'm going to give my roommate full permission to just, I don't know yet. <laughs> I'll let that be a him call. <laughs> I did kind of want to make a box though, for like, if I say something too many times, he gets to pick my next keyword of the day. Word of the day is papaya. Can you say papaya? <laughs> kind of like how Pee Wee's Playhouse had it. Like the secret word of the day was like ice cream or mailman or blank, 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 blank. Oh my God. We were just done for when that was on the news. Blank. <laughs> Did I throw my glove out? No. I have to reassure myself nowadays if I like throw something out. Eh. Who's ready for an operation? Not me, said the wise ass kid. Okay. Like I said, this is going to be the one that's going to take like a few hours to dry because of... There's oil paint, like oil-based paint in this as well. I'm just going to scoot that closer. Ew, it got on me. Just going to turn that over a little bit. <laughs> But there's like oil-based paint in here. There's the glitter that I used or that I have in here as well. But I just wanted to look more whimsical and more magical. And uh, honestly, this project started as a simple, I want to see if I can sculpt something. I'm going to make a lily pad. Oh my God, let's add. Then I went to, hey, I just watched the wall. I've seen the extremely old version of Beauty and the Beast numerous times. That's kind of where the glitter idea came from. Because I, I don't know, it just seemed magical and just beautiful and just ooh la la. Then it just turned to this chaotical disaster like, you know what? I'm going to run with this. And here I am, still running with this. And this is also going to crack in certain places as well, which I didn't want it to be like a crackle paint, but it just kind of turned into that. So hopefully it looks as good as I'm hoping it's going to look with the dark paint oozing through it. But honestly, I kind of wanted to get the spray glitter, but no store had it or has it. It's like a... Like a Halloween thing only, kind of. It's like that, the spray body glitter everybody had in, like, the early 2000s. Like, when it first, when, blah, 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 blah. When the 2000s first started. Yeah, this isn't sounding right. It is okay. I'm just going to roll with this anyway. But everybody had, like, that spray body glitter. Because, like, Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera and... <coughs> A 
like every certain type of chick had body spray glitter. But that's kind of what I wanted to do for it. Because I knew that was going to crackle on paint, which looks amazing. Also got to get the butts too. I didn't think about that. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Whatever. But yeah, I kind of wanted to use that, but I couldn't find any. And the actual body glitter that, you know, you can find in every single store it just doesn't really work the same way. Because a little spritz of that and it just, it is falling off and it's just like, ugh, it clumps up. And ew, I got her on me again. Like it just, it clumps up and it's not, not really what I want. I want it to be like crackly and you can see the paint or the glitter and the magical of magics. But yeah, no, can't, can't use that for anything. <laughs> so I, like always, made my own stuff and... Here we are now, a few months later. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm just gonna let this go for as... Basically until I just get bored. So this might end up just being a very long, ranty video. Of just random nonsense. But some people might actually find some good facts in here. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? I actually kind of wanted to go live because I haven't done a live video since I was living with a certain somebody that I'm extremely glad I'm not with no longer. But it's not here nor there. Eh, I might do a live video one day. I might. I've been thinking about it a lot lately, actually, just doing a live video and going, ha ha, throw me weird questions and I will answer them as honestly as possible. Unless even I find something that is just way too personal that I just will refuse to answer for all the right reasons. Because I've actually had that happen a few times where somebody asked me a lot of extremely personal and not needed questions. That even I was like, I don't particularly care to answer about. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, there's always that one goof that just has to go too far with things. Me. <laughs> I'm occasionally that dork that will ask something like, oh, no, wait a minute, I didn't mean it like that. I just wanted to know what you meant by this. And then get yelled at for like a good half hour. I'm just like, you know, I don't need this shit. I don't need it. I need it when I don't. Ah, I love how this looks. Oh my god, I just scared the crap out of Duncan. <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry. Don't hide in your hole. I'm sorry, Duncan. You should know how loud mommy gets. Darn it. Conflabbing Kurt. You should know how loud I get. Duncan does know how loud I get, because there's been a few times I'm just goofing around, and I just, like, I don't know, my favorite wrestler went to a new company, I'm like, oh my god, he's that, he's that god, oh my god, it's just amazing, and, like, scare the crap out of Duncan, or it's like, oh my god, my roommate bought me the best thing in the world, oh my god, and it does not take much to make me happy, I can say this now, I am glad that is one part of me that has changed, it does not take much anymore to make me excited. Crap, you can buy me, a, like, those mini Mounds bars, or, like, mini Almond Joys that used to be out, like, two, three years ago. Maybe three, four years ago, something like that. I would get so excited over it. But it's just candy. I don't care. It is freaking amazing. I am very simple-minded. Crap, I get that excited over new paints. For crying out loud, I found, um... Um, um, an old spiral graph kit. Like, I lost my crap in the store. Like, I flipped all my lids. I'm like, oh my god, I remember being a kid, like, five or six, having one of these, and oh my god, and I just, I lost my shit. I, I lost my noodles, and there were so many people in the aisle that just looked at me like, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm sorry, I just got so excited. I was like very like it was a calm flip out but I'm like I'm sorry I just remember growing up with this and like this was my childhood and you know I haven't seen it like it was in the vintage box and everything like the red and blue box like I just got so excited and then I found the um 
those um um the the, um, the splat art stuff with um ah uh, it would come in like this yellowish looking box and it had spiral art on it and that that was the name of the art product was spiral art but you would push um you would be able to like spin the side or something and as the paper like as the paper or whatever it was spinning you would do like a dip of paint and it would like splat all over the paper and it would make like it would make like these like super trippy and psychedelic art pictures and I would like oh my god that was like the best Christmas gift I've ever gotten from somebody. I don't remember who it was. I know it wasn't my mom even though it was her idea to eventually get me one. Like she brought it up a lot of times like you know what do you want for Christmas or what do you want for your birthday? It would always start with my birthday. And if I could never give her a straight answer of what I wanted for my birthday, she would just do it for Christmas. I'm like, okay, that that is that is a very smart smart thing to do actually for me because I don't I don't generally celebrate my birthday, like, and I hate to say it, but it was same exactly with my dad. To my dad, birthdays were just another day to him, but for me and mom, it was like a big deal for some reason, and I'm kind of falling into my dad a little bit here and there because there's sometimes like yeah my birthday is coming woohoo we only have x amount of more months to go yeah now it's like yay my birthday is coming cool i get to do stupid crap oh wait a minute i'm getting too old for this mm, i think i'm just gonna stay home drink wine watch my favorite anime or in this case my current favorite cartoon, which has always been my favorite cartoon, Avril Monsters, which I feel stupid. I felt so stupid after realizing how the title is pronounced. Even my roommate found it very odd. I'm like, I never... Technically, I've never seen the first season of Avril Monsters. So when they said, ah, we are monsters, it dawned on me. I, I even did it as the joke, and it hit me when I was doing the joke. I'm like, oh. Oh, okay, it's them, like, screaming, ah, real monsters, and then running. It made so much more sense now. <laughs> so me joking about it, and then hearing them say it in the show, I'm like, oh my god, that makes so much more sense now. I thought it was just, like, Rawr, real monsters. That's how I always thought it was. It was like the monsters screaming and then saying, you know, it's real, like they're real monsters, which they are real monsters, but you know, <laughs> just me being dopey, me not really thinking about it until you hit your twenties. And it's like, oh my god, that makes so much more sense. What the, what? And yeah, it's kind of sad. <laughs> just me playing with Duncan screaming Avra monsters four times and going hey wait a minute that makes sense damn I'm slow sometimes <laughs> it's like Rocco's modern life I didn't really think about it but it's a kangaroo named Rocco living in a modern life like in the modern day kind of thing didn't click on there or didn't hit a didn't click for me at the time until like I was like 24 maybe and like oh my god it makes so much more sense holy skittles holy skittle trees I'm not gonna lie I am very satisfied with this project like I'm actually happy with it and for me to be happy about my art that takes a lot because 99.9% .9 of the time and I hate to say that I'm not happy with my art. I really, I am never fully satisfied with my art projects until like recent. And recently I'm just like, oh my God, this is so satisfying. Oh my God, this is so much fun. Oh my God, I wish I had the same enthusiasm when I'm playing games, but I don't. I do, but I don't. Certain games, I get too enthusiastic over certain games. Snacks have seen me, my roommate. He has seen me get overly enthusiastic over certain games. Bendy, Cuphead, any wrestling game. Um, certain, like, uh, role-playing games. Which, little does he know. I do enjoy a good RPG game. Little does he know. 
<laughs> Joke's on you. I love these games. Not a lot of them. Half the time. Okay, best example. I love Call of Duty Black Ops because of the zombies, but that's really it. I won't play it for the story because I don't... I don't have the attention span to fully play a game for their storyline. I just play the games to, like, relieve stress or, like, get out certain issues. But now it's like, you know what? I want to give this thing a shot for the story. It's like certain animes. Can't stay on the anime, but now that I'm old enough, you know what? I'm, uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh my god, this is an amazing storyline. <gasps> what is this beautiful creature? Is that a slime? What? <laughs> Which, I don't know how that anime turned out to be so serious in the beginning. Hardcore hysterical, and now it's back to being serious. Like, what the f Am I watching the same anime? I don't understand what's going on here. Like, wait, that's a demon lord? What the f What? You are too cute to be a demon lord. This is some bullshit. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a chick. That's a guy. That's a man. What the? F what is this shit? No. <laughs> or how Naruto was like so cute and innocent and had some like some serious things and then apparently later down in the anime like gets hella serious for no reason. Like the fuck? Like, it's just an anime. It can't be that bad. Watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. No, it should not be serious in certain scenes. In certain parts of the anime, it made me cry. I'm like, no, this is some bullshit. No, that, that's not cool. That, no. W what, why is this making me feel feelings? Like, I should not be having feelings for ink and paint. And yet I'm having hardcore feelings for ink and paint. My Hero Academia. <laughs> I'm not going to say names, but there's certain characters in there that make me feel some feelings I didn't know I had for characters. <laughs> I was warned. I don't want to move this because I know it's not ready. Oh. Okay, never mind. I can actually flip this. Oh, duh. Quick drying paints in here. Duh. Oh my god, I should make a Blue's Clues thing. Because by the time the other side fully, fully dries, I will be completely in the clear. This was supposed to be a multi-video. Yeah, well, my brain kind of like said, screw that. <laughs> screw that noise. Oh my god. I can't see what I'm doing. I have hair in the way. That's why I need bobby pins again. I don't know why I'm doing this. Oh my god, this is so beautiful! <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna have to start wearing bandanas again when I do art, because I have my bangs in my face here and there, so it's like very sketchy for me to see what I'm actually doing. Boop, boop. Like... In some parts, it looks like it's covered in paint, and then when I move my bangs out of the way, it's like, oh my god, that wasn't even painted. What the? Frizzy freckles? Frizzy, frizzy, crackly, wackly. <laughs> Do I dare say oogly doogly? I'm just gonna tilt me to the side just a little bit to get that seen. <laughs> Yay! It's actually working. I'm so proud of this. No, roll over, please. Thank you. That's a glob and a half. Oh my god. Ah! No! Don't do that! No, I'm just gonna pick this thing up. Fuck it. Oh, I only have that little strip to go with anyway. Okay, never mind then. Oh my god, so much paint. I'm so glad when this dries, I can just knock off the excess paint. Like, the clumps of glitter that is on here. And make it a wee bit smoother. But for the moment... Ah, bloody bangs. Okay, I am cutting... I can't even cut my bangs, so that's just gonna make my situation worse. I am going to the store later to buy bobby pins.
And I hate hairpins because they're extremely uncomfortable to me. Plus, I had a bad experience with bobby pins. So I kind of don't trust bobby pins. <laughs> Which is actually quite hilarious now I think about that. I can't fully remember what it was. I can't remember if it was because I got poked in the eye with a bobby pin or if it was because one went up my nose. I cannot remember how which one that went, which way that went. It was one of those experiences that made me no longer trust them and I always thought they were just like undercover spies that were out to get me. Like, it, it was bad. Me as a kid had an extremely wild imagination so everything to me back then I thought was after me. Like, no, bobby pins are out to get me. No, they're gonna suck my brain. Oh, wait a minute, I need a brain first. No, help me. <laughs> I know my roommate's gonna get a kick out of that. <laughs> help me, bobby pins are trying to eat my brains. Help me. Eat me, you're messing with law order. Eat me. I'm surprised of how much paint I have left. I love fast drying paint. I am definitely going to have to cut this video after this and the uh, thingamajiggy. Because I would like to start another project or finish the ones that I have started already that I have yet to do. That and I want to make room on the table for the... Uh, For the other little project I wanted to do today. Mm, this looks so good. Ha 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 Okay, thankfully these aren't gonna take too long to dry. That is not too bad actually. This is almost an hour. Not too bad. An hour of beautiful chaos. Did anybody order extra chaos with super sass? I sure did. Uh, okay, so for the time being, this is as far as we got. The eyes are redone. The stick. Ah! I have a box attacking my foot. <laughs> Crap, my frog almost fell. No! Okay, I really need to clean that up now. So, until then, my lovely folks, I will see you guys, uh, I'll say in a few hours, give or take, because this is going to take me a little bit to uh, clean up this little issue that I have on the table, because the whole section from this jar, from behind this jar, is like a little bit of a mess, so I do want to clean that up, but I will be back fairly soon to finish off the rest of the frog flower do not know what to call it just yet i will probably ask my roommate what i should call it oh snacks what should i call this crazy project and don't let it be stupid it's gonna be something crazy i know him anyway i'll see you guys fairly soon Toodly -loo -loo.